Hi friends, Mr. Kevin here with the Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina. I wanted to show you this fun book about an artist who starts to feel a little discouraged. It's by Peter H. Reynolds. And if you enjoy this story, you can check out the video where I read another one of his stories, The Dock. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, bedtime, anything, trash cans, and anywhere, oh, even in the bathroom. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. He's crumpling up all his hard work. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Mm. He's giving up on drawing. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. She got one of his crumpled drawings. I wonder what she's going to do with it. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. His little sister has been gathering all his crumpled up drawings and hanging them on her wall, because she still likes them, even though he thought that they weren't right. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look... ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Now he's not worried about his drawings being perfect and looking exactly like different objects. He knows that they can just look kind of like them, and that's okay. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. Drawing a tree on a sunny day. He filled his journals. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish, afternoon-ish. Kind of looks like the sun setting. Raymond realized he could draw-ish feelings too. 
not just objects. Peace-ish. Silly-ish. Excited-ish. It's like you're bouncing all around because you're so excited. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. He wrote one called Ponder. Pond, ponder, dream yonder. Pond, pond, yond, yond. Gleam, wander by Raymond. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Ah, uh, just soaking in the beautiful day. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. Look how carefree he is. The end ish. Wow, wasn't that a nice story? Raymond thought that he couldn't draw anymore because his pictures didn't look just right. But he learned that he could draw things however he wanted and they would still have a fun time drawing. If you like that story, you can check out the other story by Peter H. Reynolds called The Dot. Bye, friends.